There's been a great deal of thinking about museum and museum architecture over the last 25 years. How do you build the ideal museum? Uh, and what should that be? America's greatest art museums have accepted the challenge of creating architectural icons that are the pride of their communities. You need things that pop out. Museums become this coveted commission in the mid to late 90s. And this is where your Frank Gehry's and your Calatrava's and your Renzo Piano's start building these incredible structures that stand out in a landscape. Across the pond, on the shores of the Italian Riviera north of Genoa, a glass elevator is the only way to reach the building workshop of architect Renzo Piano. The workshop itself is the embodiment of light and transparency. Ideas that Piano brings to all his designs. With a new century comes a new vision a sparkling village for the arts at the High Museum in Atlanta. The story we wanted to tell with this building is a story about art, is about enjoying art, is about preserving art. And about seeing the art. You cannot bring natural light by sight on the, on the, on the museum, otherwise you are blinded. The only way to bring natural light in the room, in the space for art, is from above, from the top. Up on the rooftop of the High's new galleries, row after row of hooded skylights, 1,001 skylights, collect the safe northern light and channel it down to the new galleries below. It's, a, it's a bit the, like the opposite of a sunflower. The sunflower looks for light from the south, and you have to look to, for light from the north. And the reason is very simple, because by doing this, you don't have direct sun inside. But that's not all. Piano reshapes an entire block on Peachtree Street into a village for the arts carving the center into a plaza for eating, walking, shopping, enjoy. But there is a moment then when you mentally take your shoes off, you change the speed, you go up, and you find yourself in a different dimension that is, by definition, silent. It's a silent dialogue. And that silent dialogue must be protected. Otherwise, you, you, you may forget the reason why a museum is a museum. 